very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session we will see some of the important concepts of the OLTP versus OLAP. It is very important concept and you should have knowledge of OLTP versus OLAP because in every kind of CS or IT exam uh, this is very important topic and one to two questions can be asked right. So let's start. The abbreviation of OLTP is Online Transaction Processing and the abbreviation of OLAP is Online Analytical Processing, right? Now, in OLTP, you can insert, update and delete information from the database, right? So basically, you can say that it is an online mod modification method, right? So you can modify data in that. But if we talk about OLAP, then in OLAP, you can extract data to analyze whether it is whether it will be useful in your decision making or not right so basically you can call it as a online query processing method right so to process your queries you you will use OLAP whether in modification method if you want to modify your data right so you will use OLTP the next is OLTP are the original source of the data which is existing in IT that is information technology right so the current data on which you are basically working or the original data original source of the data is called as OLTP whereas data comes from OLTP processing so after processing data or after so many resources uh, so many databases data come to OLAP right so data is not original here now means data is coming from OLTP now you will call this data as a operational data means it is an original data so it is an operational data uh, currently what you have in your uh, service right but it is a historical data from various database means in OLAP you will get so much data or you can say that historical data is there which is gathered from various databases whether it is from so many OLTP processes you can get so much data so from different different sources you will get data here right so you can call it as a historical data from various databases now OLTP uses basically traditional database management system right so basically traditional DBMS system is used by OLTP but OLAP basically uses data warehouses, right? So OLAP uses data warehouses. Now, the response time is very less in OLTP. Basically, you can say that your response you will get in milliseconds, right? In OLTP and in but in OLAP response time is high. It means you can get, you can get uh, your response back within seconds to you. It will take up to a minute, right? So basically response time is comparatively higher as respective with the OLTP right so in OLAP response time might take seconds to minute but here only in milliseconds you can get your response time right now in OLTP queries are very simple so in OLTP queries are very simple so you can say that uh, in OLAP uh, queries are complex as compared to OLTP now in OLTP it uh, maintains data integrity right so because here updation is needed right we uh, insert our data we delete our data we update our data so because of that data integrity should be maintained in OLTP but if we talk about OLAP then there is such not need of maintaining the uh, in data integrity because the modification work is not there here only we are working on a query method right so this is the basic difference and if we talk about OLTP then it is highly normalized means it takes so much tables and it is highly normalized you uh, basically it uses 3NF form third normalization form and it uses so much data tables to work on OLTP but OLAP is basically denormalized or it is not normalized right so if you talk about OLTP then OLTP is read and write means we can read and write means we are modifying right so we can read and write but OLTP is only read only you can say that and barely we write in that and in OLTP basically backups are required because the response time is very high and in marketing term means if you will say that in marketing environment OLTP is used right so you can say that incremental backups we should have to use here but uh, as of uh, as of need there isn't in OLAP because uh, it is basically not uh, it is customer oriented so you can say that OLAP is a customer 
oriented because here we will predict or analyze the need of customers but OLTP is basically market oriented right so basically market oriented means in banking sector or suppose online transaction is getting so backups are required because if backups is not there and if there is a failure in networking then you should have to maintain all the integrity there but there isn't such of need in OLTP right so backup if there is a backup it's very good thing but if we compared with the OLTP then such not backups is required in that right so guys i hope the concept of oltp versus olap which i have discussed with you are clear to you further if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can ask to us and we will try to solve your doubts and query as early as possible thank you so much guys have a nice day and please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that whenever we will upload new video lectures for you whether it is in the form of uh, content based or whether it is in the form of uh, gk or current affairs or job notification you will not miss that right thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat